Hi guys, it's Gina, and today I'm going to show you how we freeze and store pomegranates so we can enjoy them all year long. If you want to see that, then keep watching. We have 75 pomegranates that we're going to be opening up today. We're going to need some bowls, um, a napkin or a towel, a cutting board and a knife, some freezer bags to store it in, and also you're going to need some water. A strainer is also going to be useful. You're also going to want to have a trash can nearby so it's easy to throw away all your stuff. So I filled up my bowl with water. We buy all of these when they're super on sale. We're just going to cut it around, but not all the way through. There's a bunch of chambers inside of here. First we're going to cut off the end of the pomegranate just to make it a little bit easier to cut around. Press just hard enough to go through the skin, but not cut the actual pomegranate seeds. So I'm just going to go all the way around. Okay, and then I'm going to go over here too. Now I just got to pry it open. Okay, and you can see there's a whole bunch of little sections in here. You're just going to get all these seeds out and you're going to get rid of any of this like membrane and then put them into our water. See how I'm just getting rid of this little skin and I'm just going around carefully getting these out of here. Now you want to be gentle because they will pop open. It gets kind of messy because they do squirt at you a little bit sometimes. So a lot of people don't like to eat pomegranates just because they don't like to open them because it does take a while. But if you were just going to eat this just to eat it and not store them or anything, you know, you could maybe open up a chamber and just kind of bite into the one little section if you wanted. Like I could just bite into this if I wanted. Putting them in the water is going to help me separate any seeds from any leftover membrane that I might have left behind. It's got a lot of different sections in here. So what I found is no matter how I cut it, um, it's like impossible to get all of the membranes separated just by cutting it. So you're going to have to just pull at it and it'll kind of naturally break um, where the sections are. And sometimes you'll find maybe a group in here that looks overripe, it looks yucky, even moldy, but then you'll find right next to it, there'll be a whole bunch of good ones. So you just get rid of the bad ones if you find any in there and it doesn't affect the whole thing. So I'm still working on one pomegranate right now, so it does take a while. <laughs> and we have 75, which I'm gonna get the kids to help me in a minute, but this will take um, a couple hours. <laughs> Some people take a wooden spoon and um, they just tap it out like this, but for me, I've tried that and that takes way longer because most of them don't just fall out. So it's a lot easier for me just to use my thumb like I was using. You get pretty many with just one pomegranate. This is one pomegranate right here. All of this stuff floats on top here. Scoop it out or you can use a strainer 
and you can try to strain all this stuff out of here. of this um, membrane, whatever you want to call it, that I could. So I got rid of anything except for the nice yummy seats. I'm going to pat it dry a little bit. It just helps them from sticking together because if you have water on there, then everything kind of just clumps together. So anyways, you're just going to dry it off just a little. And then you're just going to pour it into your freezer bag. Whenever I put stuff in bags to freeze it, I try to kind of spread it out like this a little bit. Okay, and then I shut it. And that way, um, two reasons. It can lay flat, it takes up less space when you put it in the freezer, so you can um, put a lot more in there. And then the other reason is, is if it does freeze together, that's a lot easier to break it apart than it would be if it was all clumped up like this then you're going to have this big huge mess but when you're laying it out flat like this in the freezer if it freezes together you can just easily break off a little bit at a time or you can kind of like shake the bag and it'll break up the ice so but the whole point of patting it dry is so that it doesn't really freeze together anyway. So however many you have, just put them all in bags. So it's been like five plus hours. My fingers are all shrivelly. I lost some of my help, but my older girls kept helping. Um, I got this big bowl and this bowl, and we got four that I got bagged up already. So I'm gonna finish bagging them all up and just pop them in the freezer. Um, this is definitely not something that you can just do real quick if you're gonna do it on this scale. Um, and it's very messy. I, ju I just got done with 10 pomegranates. Oh, yes. Pomegranates. <laughs> they will like splatter all over your clothes. Probably got some on me right now. My husband just told me that he's picking up another 25. So won't be doing that today. It's worth it 
if you can get them when they're on sale, do them all up at one time and you have them all year. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support our channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.